This is the Acresso FM 1000 watt. This particular one happens to be the limited edition 750 watt. So I want to give a tutorial on this uh, because it's really not in the manual and uh, tech support is kind of limited on this. So one of the things here in the US we need to understand on this particular FM transmitter is you don't want to run it on 120 volts. It will work but it draws too much current. Uh, the switching power supply in this starts to draw too much current and it'll pop fuses and cause some heating and I'll show you how to solve the problem because this is made in Europe and they are want to see about 230, 240 volts in this particular uh, transmitter. Here is the connector that they give you with the Acresso transmitter. Got two round fangs. Okay, so we don't use that here. So this had to be changed over. You can't do anything with this here. That's obvious. We don't. That's a standard end, EIA type, but don't have those kind of plugs. So it's obvious uh, something had to be changed. So here in the U.S., we usually only have 120 volts. I'll show you how I got around that, and uh, hopefully this will help anybody else that has this particular one here in the U.S. And this is the back of the unit, and here's the uh, switch and fuse block, uh, which I don't tell you how to remove. I'm going to show you. We're just pry it right under there. Just kind of have to coax it out, but it comes out like that. So this one we had a problem with earlier, and I'll show you what happens when you run it on 120. You see that? And that's got real hot. There it is. And of course, this fuse here on this side, this particular one, it, it finally blew, it barely blew. It, so I actually salvaged this one. As you see, it got burned. And so I, I actually burnished the contacts and got it working again. So this is all right. That's what you can expect if you run these units on 120 volts. They do work, but it just draws too much current. There's the unit, and it plugs right back in there. Snap. There it goes. As you can see, it uses the, I guess, the EIA connector, which naturally you would think, hey, you can run a, to, uh, 120 volts to that. Which, yeah, again, technically it will work, but they don't recommend it because the thing's really meant for 230 volts. It does mention that there. Uh, that's something to watch out for. Anyway, that's how you get this unit out. Sometimes it's not easy to understand how to get it out of there to replace the fuses. Here is the one-to-one -one isolation power transformer, good for like 700, 800 watts or volt amps, if you will. So I've wired this up in an auto former configuration. And here we get the power off of this 118, 119 volts, about 120 volts. 120 goes in and wiring it comes out here, goes in this EIA connector, and we get uh, 240 volts. So here's a diagram of the isolation transformer I wired to a series aiding, basically making an auto former out of this for the transmitter. So if you got a, if you need to step up your 120 to 240, and this is basically the way I did it, it had 100, 120 there. You had the secondary in series with your output. Of course, that's got to be in the right phase, and then it'll give you 240 volts. And this works well for the Acresso transmitter. We go plug it into the transmitter, turn it on. Go RF on. We've got 650 watts. It's running good. This is the modification to get the Acresso on the air with 240 volts. If you have an isolation transformer laying around, you saw the schematic. Well, if you have one of these, uh, this will probably help you out a lot.